Here's how to build an Eco extension for plugins such as Eco Enchants in about two minutes. First, let's create our project in IntelliJ. Head over to Files and create a new project. Name your extension and make sure that you're coding in either Java or Kotlin and compiling in Gradle. Next, click on Create and allow the project to be created. Next, let's add our dependencies. In this case, we'll be adding the paper API, Eco, and LibreForge. We will also add Eco Enchants as that's the plugin we are building an extension for. So let's add our repositories for our dependencies, in this case Paper and Jitpack, and then sync up Gradle. Next, what we want to do is create our package with our group name and then our project name. Next, what we want to do is create our main class that we'll be extending extension from. And then now in our main class, extend extension from Eco then implement the methods that it asks for. Furthermore, implement a super for an eco plugin. Now that our main class is done, let us create the class that the enchantment will go in. Let us extend an eco enchant to the class, and then create a constructor with both the ID of the enchant and the enchantment type. Next, let's create an override for an event, in this case when a player damages another entity. Let us check if the entity in question is a creeper. Then let's calculate the multiplier and then set the damage in the event. Next, let's register the enchantment in the main class and then create our extensions.yml in the resource directory. Next, put in the extensions information, then create the directory where the enchant will go in and then create the enchantment file inside of it. Next, fill in all the enchantment information that is needed. Then add the config options that you're gonna use. Next, let's add the build configuration in for the extensions file. And then add a build configuration in IntelliJ. And then build the project into a jar. Next, let's put the jar that we compiled into the extensions folder of the eco plugin that we are adding the extension to. As you can see, the extension has been enabled and the file has been created.